Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I have a really fun project with you using a fun new product. Well, it's not really new, but it's new to me. It's paper twine, and um, I found this when I was shopping at Paper Mart. They're our sponsor today. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com, and they have these beautiful um, colors of twine, and it's just twisted paper ribbon. And let me show you here what it looks like when you unravel it, because it's really pretty. And I'm going to show you how to make some really cool bows with this. If you kind of give it a twist, you can kind of take it apart and get all these nice little crinkly paper here. It's about four inches wide when you unravel it all. Whoa! Ha! <laughs> Check that out. Pretty cool. It almost looks like a, like a crepey. It's very crepey, but it's a lot more durable than crepe paper. And I made this little bow, and I made this fabulous bow, and I made this cool bow with my hair, and I'm going to show you how you can make it too. So let's go to the table and see how it's done. You're going to need some hot glue for this project. I have my low temp glue gun right here. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some paper twine, and you're going to want to cut it off at about nine inches. And I've got some pieces already cut here, so I'm just going to hold it up against there to get a sizing. And I'm just cutting it with my regular paper scissors. All right, and then to unwind it, like I was showing you earlier, you just kind of twist it in the opposite direction of the way the twists are kind of going. And you unravel it. Now you could use this to wrap up a, a package as is, or you can unravel it. This would be really pretty around handmade soap or any sort of organic packaging. It comes in a lot of colors. I just chose the more um, fruity, neon, vibrant colors because I'm a fruity kind of girl, I guess. Um, so there you can see you've got this really nice wide strip of paper. Now to make these bows, you want to cut this into thirds. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be exact. Just take your scissors and cut them into thirds. And those will be the, um, the ribbons we're going to use to make our bow. And you can actually do this with regular ribbon if you don't like the look of crepe or you want to use what you have. You can even use like um, patterned scrapbook paper for this. It looks really pretty too. But the texture on this, it's almost like corn husk. It's this really cool texture. Now um, the same, you do the same thing no matter what bow you're going to make. So first we're going to start, we'll start with a piece of this yellow. And um, you want to make a loop. See, just a ring like that. And you want to give it a little dab of hot glue. I like hot glue because it sets instantly, and I'm using the low temperature so I don't burn my hands off. I haven't been burned my hands off in way too long. All right, then I'm going to do a little glue on the inside and squash it. All right, just like that. Now, if I wanted to do this bow, I would simply pinch it and wrap a little scrap around, you know, kind of like that, and then give it a couple ends. Okay, so that's how you do that type of bow. I think you can kind of get the gist of that. All right, but since I'm doing this... um. I'm going to do more of a fluffy bow. I'm going to make two of these. Now you can do this all the same color, but I like to alternate colors because it's just kind of fun. It's completely up to you though. And again, I'm going to squash it. And you're going to do this for every piece that you're going to use on your bow. And you can make your bow as fluffy or as flat as you like. And give it a little squish there of glue and stack them up, at kind of making an X. Okay, we've got our X there. Then I'm going to go with a con uh, contrasting color. Maybe I'll do purple. And again, I'm going to glue them into loops and glue them down. And you'll do as many as you like. This is going to be, these are complementary colors, so it's going to be pretty, um, they're going to look pretty bright next to each other. And I put my fingers in here and I kind of fluff it out as I go. So I get a really nice puffy bow. This, um, this ribbon is very sculptural. It wants to take on whatever shape you kind of squish it onto. So I can think there'd be a lot of um, cool decor ideas with this or costume ideas. It is paper, so it's not going to be the most durable thing. But um, for a party or for a costume, it would certainly fit the bell. And I just can't wait to use these bows on some gift wrap. Oops, I forgot to put a little bit in there. Now your center, little tiny puff. Um, you can do that out of the same color. Or I think I'll do a little turquoise. You don't need it quite as long. I'm going to cut off about a three inch piece here and wrap it up into a loop and just glue it. And I'm also going to put a little glue there to secure it down. Now if you get a lot of hot glue strings you can simply pull them out or you can heat them with a hair dryer or a heat tool and that will take any of your uh, glue strings away. So I'm just going to press that down there. Now you can leave that like that. It's kind of like how I did the hair, my little hair bow here. That's how I did that. Um, but I want to put like some some tags coming out, and I think I want to use some of this turquoise because it's a nice color. 
And I'm just going to V-notch the ends. And then I can either fold it and have it kind of like a blue ribbon, like that. I'll move those out of the way so you can see. Or I could put a couple and um, line them up underneath. You know, there's so many options, but it's such an easy, fun material to play with. So I hope you give it a try. Um, you can find this at Paper Mart, our sponsor today. You can find them at www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.